gone now, right? Long gone. Because it was her. From the beginning, it was Nessie who wanted me there. Nessie? You nicknamed my daughter after the Loch Ness Monster?! Hey guys, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to recreate Bella Swan's makeup in Twilight. I'm starting off with a pale porcelain foundation to apply all over my face for that I live in a gloomy, cold, rainy town so I don't get enough vitamin D complexion. Next, I'm adding on her freckles using a wet brush and brown eyeshadow and adding some all over the cheeks, nose bridge, forehead, and chin. Use your finger to better blend them in. Now to recreate her rosy cheeks from the cold, I'm using a berry red liquid lipstick and blending it into my entire cheek, mostly using my hands to warm and blend it in. Then I'm applying more foundation on top of all of that so the rosiness looks like it's coming from under my skin. Moving on to eyes, I'm using this light brown eyeshadow to contour and hollow out my eyes for that deep set look. Next, I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow and applying it onto my eyelid, under my eyes, and on the outskirts of my eyes for that natural smoky look. Now to make my eyelashes appear fuller and my eye look overall more defined, I am lightly using a brown eye pencil to outline my lash line. Now Bella has these beautiful long natural lashes, so I'm using a curler to make them look longer and using a light mascara to define them. Make sure that you don't make this clumpy, she has very natural lashes so you really want to use the least you can but also make your eyelashes look the longest you can. Now to get that low set brow look, I am brushing my eyebrows down. So if you want to make your eyebrows appear higher on your face, you would naturally brush them up. But since her eyebrows are pretty low on her face, we're going to brush all the hairs down. Next I'm taking a brown eye pencil and I'm going to fill in all of the gaps in my eyebrows. Next, I'm using a concealer to recreate the thin brows Bella has. You can use concealer to also make your eyebrows appear even lower. Now I'm just adding more of the eyeshadow under my eyebrow and this is what really pulls off that low brow illusion. Now I'm contouring my cheekbones and jawline since she does have a very angular face and I'm further contouring my lower inner eyes to make them look a little bit more closer together.
For the nose, I'm making the nose bridge thin by contouring the sides of my nose. She has a very thin, sharp nose, so you really want to go heavy on the contour without it looking unnatural. And I'm also contouring my inner nostrils to make them appear more round like hers. And lastly, I chose to simply apply some rosy chapstick and lip enhancing gloss as her lips are quite natural and plump, but thin. So here is the finished look. Now my go-to costume tip for looking like Bella is to wear a lot of neutrals, a lot of long sleeve shirts and sweaters since she is living in a colder state and she likes to wear those natural tones like brown and white and dark navy, anything that's just very muted and soft. Also don't forget to wear jewelry that has a lot of natural gemstones like a moonstone ring or a turquoise bracelet. She likes to wear those boho style kind of jewelry. And for the hair, depending on which movie you're recreating, honestly, she overall just has a very bedhead appearance, so you can leave your hair in braids overnight and take them out in the morning. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you want more tutorials on celebrities, cartoon characters, anything of the sorts, make sure you comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. And make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so I can see you in my next video. Happy Halloween!